Back in 1963, Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom premiered on network television. Kelly, what was that like? What? Wow, wow. <laughs> wow. Not cool. So to, in celebration of the 50th. I'm not the one that just celebrated that milestone hey, 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 birthday, hey, 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 hey. Am Big I? Al Mac. Easy, easy. In celebration of the 50th anniversary. Oh, they, speaking of 50. Last year. <laughs> what, Kelly? What? Wild Kingdom decided to uh, name Stephanie Arney as their wild guide. And they began, they began production on the web series, right? Yeah. So the second installment launched July 17th. Which is yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Which was yeah. yesterday. Which was yesterday. So you're yeah. back in studio with us. Stephanie, hi. Yes, I is. <laughs> and, you, and you brought friends with you this time. Oh, my Again. gosh. I brought, I brought some of the craziest animals I've ever seen. Oh, my. Something squawking. Ever. Yeah, I heard. Oh, I, smell, wow. I smell animals. I heard animal noises in the hall. Oh, my. They smell amazing. Too. Well, so, apparently you have tons of animals, so should we get started? Let's get started. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have a bunch of animals. I have some friends from the Dallas Zoo that have come and brought in a whole heap of animals. Like I said, oh, kind of like, oh wow. Oh. We have penguins in the house. <laughs> I don't, Penguinos. Oh. Watch on Kid TV right there, y'all. They bring penguins to the mall at Christmas, and penguins have a very distinct smell about them. (laughs) It's fishy. Oh, boy. (laughs) Right? (laughs) So these are South African uh, black-footed penguins, or uh, another fun name for them is called the jackass penguin. And the reason for that is because when (laughs) they break their calls... They sound actually a lot like a donkey. That was them braying that I heard then. Yeah, and braying is a good good job. You know that word? That's awesome. So uh, these are warm weather penguins. A lot of people think there's only cold weather penguins. So I just want to clear that up right away. Most penguin species live from the equator and south, okay. with the exception of the Galapagos, which a couple of them hang out in the hey islands buddy. north of the equator. Hey, buddy. Allie's coming over can to I, you. Oh, They're oh, running oh, around oh, on the ground. ground. Hey, can I pick him up? I love how penguins <laughs> walk with their little waddle. They identify oh, with Al. Now, do, do they, they, do they, black. do oh. these, hey, ow. Do these, oh. okay. Did it bite oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, it just do kind they, of picked my toe a little bit. Do they bow? I don't know. Do they bow? Are those the king penguins? I've seen mostly the emperor penguins and king penguins. I just filmed at the Henry Dorley Zoo Omaha to show off some of their cold weather penguins. Yeah. And when they approach you, it's so adorable because they'll walk right up to you and they'll uh, make a call and it's like a weird like, and then they bow. And I always bow back because it's just so sweet. Stephanie, can you rate Big Al's impression of a penguin? Oh. <laughs> Is that that was the actually, penguin on Batman. If you do, that is true, isn't it? Rah, 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 if you do want to hear what they sound like, the ladies here can bring these two together because believe it or not, they do mate for life. Which oh, these are the ma- oh. these are mated? They're married. They, yeah, they're married. These this is a male and friend. female, and oh, they're super sweet. Uh, obviously, they mate for life until <laughs> until they get divorced. One passes away. Do, okay, when the when it's <laughs> I'm a great green. white shark. Do they have side penguins though? <laughs> they do have side penguins, just in case. <laughs> if you if you mate for life, I know it's true. I've, I've seen pets that have been raised together, then one grieves to death. Is that what happens in the penguin world? It, um, it can, I've seen it happen with many different species uh, of animals. They're oh. mating penguin okay, style. Okay, so right now they're making. These, okay. it was making a noise like it had a hairball. Yeah, what does that mean? Uh, that's them braying. That's the noises that they oh, make. Okay. It's kind of like a mating song that they sing together. Yeah. And then. <laughs> They're cuddling. Wow. Whoa. They're I have never heard that noise before in my life. Sounds like donkeys. You're right. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying now, right? Yeah. So Whoa. that is kind of their call together saying, hey, what's up, girl? Oh, I love shut up, girl. you. You're looking yeah. good today. Yeah. You've been taking care of those feathers. Oh, Al, you should try that maiden noise. I could not. That's so great. <laughs> 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 it's such a good score by literally putting their mouth on the microphone right now. That's fantastic. I have never heard that noise before in my life. All right, I'll try it. (laughs) All right, my turn. (laughs) That's actually pretty good. That is pretty good. It hurts your throat, though. Yeah. Yeah. I used to do it for shows, and I'd be like, watch this, and I'd do it, and then be like, okay, give me two minutes. Yeah, Yeah. right? I love these guys. Now we have a very beautiful fennec fox. Oh, my gosh. A fox. What does the fox say? (laughs) (laughs) It's like a little baby. That is cute. Is that a full-grown fox? So this is the smallest canine in the world, or the smallest fox species. This is a fennec fox, and they are from uh, Africa, from northern Africa. Wow, you brought all my brothers and sisters in here today. Yes, I did. (laughs) Uh, This is a full-grown fennec fox. So, it's full wow. grown. It, yeah. it weighs how much? And it's oh, the size chihuahua. of a chihuahua. Yeah, it looks like a chihuahua. Just a couple pounds. What, how, how, many, how much do you weigh? Um, he probably weighs about a pound. 
But yeah, I say one to two. Are you wow. being clawed to death? Because those things are not declawed, right? That thing is oh, God, no. you. He's no. got like Will Smith ears. Can you make it a, can they be pets? Can you have one in the house? No. You know, people, no. I, I never recommend anybody yes. have an anxiety okay, animal Okay, hold on. She's pet. letting them run around, so watch out for the fox. <laughs> Because oh my god! Uh, oh my! That's oh, the yeah. fastest thing I've ever seen. Okay, look at so, that big blue eyes, pointy nose. Wait, it's almost like a little puppy. Do you see this? There's a dog bed and a stuffed pig yeah. and all yeah. kinds of toys. Imagine walking into a room and seeing this much stuff. Like how she's probably incredibly yeah. excited and like terrified at the same time. <laughs> now, would she eat the penguin? No, she couldn't eat the penguin. She eats mostly uh, insects. Love scorpions are highly trained in learning how to hit the scorpion and bite off the. Po- pokey thing that where yeah. the venom's at, the poker. and then be able to eat it, and that's how they oh, get a lot of their. He's like Cajun. He's like, yeah, he likes crawfish. So <laughs> was that bite? Was that playful? The, yeah, oh, okay. that's excited. That's, that's like kind of like being play. like, hey, hey, okay. puppy play. Yep. No. I'm yeah. so overwhelmed what right now. What is this oh, thing coming in? It's an anteater, right? Oh my gosh. This it is, is so a cool. South American version of the anteater. It's called a tamandua. And uh, like I said, South American. So a lot of South American animals are a little bit different than the North American animals. They This guy has a prehensile tail, which means it's ra- it can wrap around or grasp things. Does it grab like the other way? Kind of like an elephant trunk yeah. or an el- uh, monkey's tail. And that's what helps them travel through the trees living that arboreal lifestyle so they'll wrap it around the tree and then they can reach to all the different types of fruit they want but one of their most favorite things to do is hang out on the on the ground Uh and look for termite ants Mm -hmm. and they can they have oh gosh what's he drinking 12 inch 12 to 15 inch long tongue that is like a spaghetti noodle and it comes out like 12 inch tongue fast and you got to see it because right now we're we're feeding uh, we're honey. feeding her honey because she absolutely loves honey and you can see if you look up close how long that tongue oh. is. It's like a worm coming out of there. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like a worm. So if you can Surprise imagine, you can the house. stick that long skinny snout down into a tree, a tree trunk, or into a, a <laughs> hole in the ground like a termite mound, and that tongue can wiggle around and maneuver into all the maze that that's the termites. Crazy, I've never wow. seen her tongue out like that. Right? Yeah, aren't they amazing? That is that cool. Is a now, cool are anteater. These, are these like? They kind of look like a sloth a little bit. It does. Different. Are they Yeah, related? they're related. Yep. Sloths, anteaters, and armadillos are related. Okay. So they all kind of are a funky, weird animal that lives in... Uh, that would make a cool America. jacket. Oh, ow. Now, when I was oh, in Costa Rica... Oh, ow, man. When I was in Costa Rica... Oh, you know what? You're sure. bringing something in next that uh, we already oh, have in the office. I remember. A rat. A hedgehog. Oh. Sonic. Somebody in our office next door has one of these as a pet. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? No, what? a lot of people oh, okay. a lot of people have hedgehogs, and in certain states it is legal. Um, and others, you have to have a permit to, to own one. They're mm-hmm. not very, I mean, I don't, but I, they're, they're sweet. hard you to take care of. Well, you they can't are. love And a lot it. of people, um, when you try to have them as a pet, most of them sadly die. They they have a very particular oh, it's lifestyle like Darcy, that the you need to I respect. I followed on Instagram, and Darcy, they only live a few years normally. Is yeah, that about six years. Okay, in the wild, they would live longer because we're keeping it as pets. They live shorter. No, it's just it's in general, about six years. Are they yeah. related? I would to say the... as a pet, probably shorter. At the zoo, yeah. they they could probably. I mean, she's six years old, so I oh. bet she could maybe live a little bit longer because of her oh, intense. She's on her care. last leg. Y'all say goodbye to the hedgehogs. <laughs> Bye, hedgehog. So there's different types of hedgehogs. There's European and there's uh, African hedgehogs. Um, sure my right. favorite thing about these guys being insectivores is that people in Europe will put them in their backyards and like trap them in so that they eat all of their insects. So it's kind of that like symbiotic oh, relationship that humans can have with awesome. an animal to be like, hey, look, I'll let you have this habitat. I will not harm you. I won't put any pesticides out as long as you eat all these bugs your job. in my garden. So they're they're a really helpful species. I think they're adorable, but I just wouldn't they have are. one because you can't love you on know, it. The only time when I the only oh. other time I held one, I got kind of scared and it was a baby. But it, they they just out of nowhere will just like. Go into that ball and stick the spikes out, yeah. like when they get yeah. scared. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It hurts to the point that it you hurts. want to drop it on the ground. I know that's yeah. why I, say I can't. Love you got them. poked by a hedgehog. They're holding it. <laughs> they're a lot pokier than you think they would be, and <laughs> they especially are they're not cuddly. No, nope, not at all. Got by a hedgehog. Hi. Well, good. Stephanie, we still have more friends to meet. Oh, we good. got more? Yeah, we got to take a quick break. So we'll meet. How many more friends did you bring? We have four more. Four, four more. more? It's like animal I'm overload. Like... Yeah. <laughs> poor Jenna over here. No, I'm like so overstimulated. I know. The, the poor Jenna. This is like the best day of my life. Are the penguins still doing it back there? <laughs>